start. First, I want to thank everybody for being so patient. Um, I know that a, quite a few of you were messaging me like on Instagram, just wanting to know like what was going on, uh, checking in, which I appreciate so much. Let's see here. I think that I posted last, it was like right before Thanksgiving, and I started getting a ton of orders for like Christmas orders for my books, and it just got a little overwhelming. Um, I could not have been happier with the amount of orders that I got. I know I was super busy. There was absolutely like no time for me to film like a cleaning video. I was working probably 20 hours a day, and there was just no time, so which was. I regret not at least like vlogging a little bit to keep you guys updated what was going on. I didn't even think about that until like recently I was talking to Dan and I was just saying oh you know I should have at least you know I could have did like short little vlogs um, just to let you guys know hey I was super busy today but I didn't so I apologize for that. So once I got caught up with like all my Christmas orders I was like oh, okay I'm gonna start you know doing cleaning videos and like little vlogs like family vlogs and um, I'm not sure probably a lot of you guys know um, there's a fellow youtuber her son um, was rushed to the emergency room on Christmas and actually ended up passing away so what I did was I created a fundraiser thing for my book sets and gave proceeds to um, her and her family so once that what after Christmas I started doing that fundraiser and then I just I, I don't know got busy again and yeah but we have plans because I'm gonna be leaving this room and going to that room because I love the layout in here for a nursery I kind of played it out in my head like how I would like things set up and uh, it just works out well that way so right now I'm going to be not right this second but uh, probably this week or next week I'm gonna start painting we had bought a five gallon um, bucket like a five gallon bucket thing of paint <laughs> um, because I love the color that we did in the kitchen and we are probably just gonna do that same color throughout the house it's just very simple and it allows me to kind of um, play around with the decor a little bit more because with the white walls it will Pretty much we'll go with anything so I'm sure wherever you guys are you guys are like on the lockdown just like us our state here in Indiana we've been on lockdown like well you know where you're supposed to stay home whatever um, for I think it's like three weeks now Skyla's school just announced last week that they're out for the rest of the year so they will not be going back to school she's been doing like the e-learning online which has been working out pretty well we have so many projects that we were going to work on this spring and now that we are stuck at home we have plenty of time to get hopefully get all of that stuff done uh, the one thing that we wanted to do is our biggest project we've been talking about it for years our friends joke around with us because every year friendsgiving this is still not done and that is that wall that separates our living room and the kitchen well, we finally decided we're just gonna do it and now like all this stuff happened so that got pushed back which is a blessing in disguise because now we can concentrate on all the rest of the little stuff that we wanted to do around the house again i want to thank everybody that reached out to me or even just thought of us here and there whatever and you didn't reach out to me that's okay too um i'm sure i crossed your mind and you wondered what was going on but uh, everybody that did reach out to me and I talked to on Instagram, uh, thank you guys so much. You guys like gave me a little bit of reassurance that uh, you guys did miss us. Uh, Dan and I had a little rough time because we spent about a year um, working out, getting healthy, losing all this weight, and then over the holidays and winter, we just basically gained all of our weight back and some. So that was a little depressing. I mean, you work so hard to get healthy and then you just, I don't know. And it wasn't that I was like overeating. I think it was just not eating enough and not sleeping, not drinking enough water, uh, the stress. I mean, I don't know. I don't remember eating like a bunch of junk food. Skyla and I are home right now. Dan left. He, our TV 
broke it's just not working it keeps freezing so he called um best buy and they're doing like the curbside pickup which is nice because you don't actually interact with anybody and i believe what he said was uh you order whatever you're gonna order and because our tv is originally from there they just said to um i guess like recycle it and they're they gave us like a voucher for a new tv uh, when he gets home, I will um, ask him like how that whole experience was because I'm just curious. And then I will show you guys right now, Dan and Skyla have been working on another project in her room. She wanted to build a chalkboard wall. So Dan took like um, wood scraps and stuff and built a frame for her. And we had already bought like these LED lights a while back. We've been talking about this project since like last year and finally they're getting that done. So she's working on like painting the frame and then she has to do like the actual like paint the, the chalkboard onto the wall. Alright, what did dad teach you how to do? He told me how to use caulking. No, that's that's not caulking. Wait, no. It came from the tub. No, this this stuff. Pet, this pet. stuff right here. Like the filler. Oh, that's, that's caulking. caulking. Okay, no, no, no. But this stuff. I don't know what it's called. I know what it's called, I forgot though. Joint compound? Hmm. It's heavy. <laughs> well, because... It's like plaster. Like yeah, it's, it's, yeah, because she had a couple like dings in the... in the wall. So, okay, let's turn on the light. What color? Yeah, I don't know. What was that one that I told you to turn off earlier? <laughs> Oh, there we go, that's the one. Dad said we cannot have this one on when Kiwi's up here because she doesn't have a stage. And Skyla just put up her video. Yeah, you should go check out my channel. I post my comeback video. We're back. back. Better than that. <laughs> Alright, so obviously Dan is back from Best Buy. How was is, how is the experience of picking up the curbside? Very non touchy. What'd you do? You pulled up and then... pull up and they like walk up and stay a few feet away from the car. Do you have to like show your ID or something? Yeah. Like do, the, say, do they say like leave your window they, up? Yeah, they just glance at it from a few feet away. Wow. And did they, you didn't have to like load anything? They just put it in like the back or something? I just like popped up. Oh. The back. Like they don't give me any paperwork or anything. Just yeah. Have a nice day. So this TV is a different brand than the one that we had, so he's trying to figure out the whole mounting situation, which I'm sure you can make it work. I'm usually good at that stuff. I know you guys missed Annika and little Kiwi. Kiwi! Kiwi! Kiwi, you want a treat? You want a treat? I'm teasing you guys, I'll get you a treat. You need a treat? A kiwi, her uncle, you want a treat? <gasps> Good girls! Here he comes. Did you hear the word treat, Axel? Axel, you want a treat? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Good boy. Faith, Faith. Faith, Faith, what do you say? Faith, what do you say? Good girl. <laughs> what do I always get on your case about? Keeping stuff. Keeping everything. Like anytime 
we get something and it comes with extra like I'm like get rid of it we don't need it and, <laughs> and now we're having difficulties finding like the right um, screws and spacers screws and spacers because the TV that we had which is this one right here um, the mount the mount situation he's having to like basically customize it so anyway he went out to the garage and found something that I probably told him to get rid of and I didn't. and he didn't so all right we'll get the TV on the wall yeah so the mount situation is not working because Samsung wants you to have a Samsung wall mount yes. not and what was the other TV's name that we had? Insignia or something? Insignia? Insignia. Something like that. Yeah. So Best Buy let us, we get, I mean, you could choose yeah, like any TV that you want. We've never had an Insignia TV before. We thought we'd give it a shot and we don't like it. So uh, we've been cooking a lot. I am going to show you guys um, this tortilla pizza recipe. I can't take um, all the credit for it because I did see it on Instagram. I did modify a few things because I was determined to make it as like low calorie as possible. So, which I did accomplish. Skyla and Dan like uh, all like different toppings, not bad toppings like mushrooms and um, sausage. Is it sausage you did? Yeah, we do. So, um, we did sausage forms and then we like to do mushrooms and onions. And I just like the cheese and pepperoni. I'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, we've made cabbage soup twice and we are obsessed with it. We can, I make a huge 12 quart pot of it and it lasts like a couple, three days. Um, <laughs> I, I actually like, I made so much of this last batch that I had to take broth out and put it in a separate pan to cook it because it was just like overflowing with a bunch of goodness. It's like a sweet and sour soup. So if you guys like cabbage and uh, sweet and sour stuff, um, I will probably make it again. I think we have another um, roast in our freezer downstairs. And so on our next um, grocery like haul or grocery pickup thing or like when we go get food we maybe I'll get another head of um, cabbage because I think I have everything else it's pretty simple like seven twelve quarts so like a bunch of them just cook them all up just cabbage soup cabbage soup cabbage soup cabbage soup <laughs> so good I love it before I forget to tell you guys we do have a new house guest Toby around I want to say January we were we were getting ready to go somewhere something and uh, Dan was like there's a cat in the garage and I said no it's like no there's not so he showed me there's a cat in the garage and he was super skinny you could see like his spine like all those bones he just obviously hasn't eaten in a while so we had some like wet dog food or something. He ate it right away, so he's obviously hungry. And well, we are not cat people, but we are animal people. We love animals, and we do leave the garage door open during the day, or at least part of it, like the bottom, because he likes to go hang out maybe with his friends. <laughs> and then he will come back at nighttime to eat. I mean, we have like he has a setup out there, right? Yeah. Like he has a litter box. He has a heated house. Um, we got him. He, we have he has like. Boys, catnip, like yeah, he's, he's spoiled. Up. When we found him, we had posted. Well, Dan did most of the work. He had posted um, his picture on a few different websites and Facebook group pages and just locally. And we did get a few people that reached out to us. But I was surprised. Like if my if. It, my cat or animal was missing i'd be like well let me just come and look and see if it's my cat so no one actually ever came to look to see if it was their cat but we did have a few people reach out to us and they'll give us like a name like one was like mia boy yeah mia boy <laughs> um there was a couple of like name like different names but this one girl she's like um my cat that has been missing his name is toby and if you 
call his name, say his name, he'll like meow, like he knows his name. Well, he didn't meow. Did he meow for that name? But he meows for every name. Yeah, he meow. But yeah, but he definitely knows his name now, Toby. Um, but his tail is broken in like two different spots. And so, I don't know. Dan's allergic to cats. The dogs had never met the cat. But, Toby, I was just talking about Toby. Is Toby in the I think he's, yeah, he does. Every time he like gets nice out and he leaves, I'm like, oh, he's probably not gonna come back. And then at nighttime, I will stick my head out there and be like, Toby, and he's ready to eat or whatever, so. Um, but he has fattened up and along with the rest of us. <laughs> Um, yeah, Dan and I, yeah, like right there, you see this? Yeah, you can see the boxes. <laughs> oh, and our, obviously our gyms are closed, everything, so we'll have to get creative with um, our workouts and everything. <laughs> You're pregnant? Just me. <laughs> Just that. We are not pregnant. I tried to uh, pull Skyla last a couple nights ago, and she didn't fall for are it. Are trying to be serious now? what? What was the real reason? Because he asked me, asked me to stop vlogging. He's like, I don't want you vlogging anymore. He paid me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> if we're just being honest. Oh, I already told them. Everything's going on. Just work and... Sounded like you were crying. No. <laughs> oh, I just put another layer on it. All right, so I thought he was going to come back in from the garage and be able to put up the TV, but he's still working on it. So I will just keep you guys updated. You guys, I'll be vlogging again and um, yeah. So like I said, if I don't have time to do a cleaning video or anything like that, I'll just keep. I'll put up a vlog, and at least you guys will be updated with everything that is going on. So thank you guys so much for um, being patient. I'm making dinner tonight for the family. I'm making teriyaki chicken. Oh, you're gonna have to do that dinner again. Skyla made oh, yeah. us. Skyla made us dinner uh, a few couple weeks ago, About and she we she had a whole setup here on the um, island thingy. Or this is the island. The, the countertop. <laughs> She did a whole hibachi dinner thing for us. It was pretty fun, so. I took the pancake griddle and plugged it in right in front of them and had noodles, rice. I'll, in, I'll insert a clip right here so you guys can see hat. what she did. She did the whole choo-choo train. All yeah. right. Thank you guys so much for being patient and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!